If you're taking it into my mind right now, it would be nothing but destruction and you know that fighting mentality. I just want to get in there now and, and deliver the smoke and do what do what I do best and you know that's destroy. Eli, can you come get daddy cuddle? Please. Yeah. Give me a kiss. Oh my gosh. Such a little hater. I was born a box, like I walked in the gym at 16 years old, sparring guys that have been doing it since they since they're eight years old. And it's like some people are just born for stuff and, and I was born to be a boxer. This is my opportunity and I'm gonna take full advantage of it. The Ben name is familiar out here in the in the States. For me it's uh, nothing short of a blessing to be headlining in Vegas. You know, many fighters, great fighters, dream of fighting in, in Vegas, let alone headlining. I know people compare me to my dad a lot and compare my career and my journey and you know it's it's nothing but a blessing. You know, my dad is my dad and you know I'm extremely proud my dad is my dad. And if I achieve half of what he's, he's ever achieved, I'll be, I'll be a happy man. Uh, so for me to be compared to my dad, um, you know, the, the main thing is, you know, when my career is said and done is, I want people to go call them Ben's, you know, value for money. I was raised by a single mother in the Bronx, three kids, um, two bedroom, house room, resilience, you feel me? I feel like I came from the mud and I had, I had to get shit the hard way in my career, in life, everything. It doesn't matter where you come from, what your sphere is, what your circle is, I think you can achieve anything in life um, that you set out to achieve. I believe it doesn't matter where you come from, privileged upbringing or out the mud, as they say, or you know, less privileged or you know, culture, you can achieve anything you want to do, no matter where you come from. You know, but I feel like this was written in the stars for me. And you know, I feel like boxing found me, um, even though I wasn't searching. Um, and this is what I'm born to do, I'm born to fight. I'm bred to fight, this is, that's how I feel about it. You know, I could have been dead, been in jail. My life is like a movie. I used to work in the hospital overnight. I used to work from like 11 to eight in the morning. I used to go running at work at four, 4 a.m. And no one even knew, I'd leave at lunchtime. That was my lunchtime, I'd go run six miles, come back to work. Two hour bus ride in the morning because it's traffic in New York. So I get home, go to sleep, go to the gym in Washington Heights. It was like, and same thing every day. I had a lot of jobs, man. I had so many I forgot. His father probably came up like I did, and then he made it so Connor didn't have to go through all of the, the bullshit in this boxing business. It's taken a lot for me to become the man I am today and gone through a lot to become the man I am today. Made, you know, plenty of sacrifices. You know, sacrificing my family and leaving my family behind in Australia was probably the hardest decision I've ever had to make. Um, and I had to make sure that decision was worth it. When you make a sacrifice that big, you have no choice but to make sure it was worth it. I will never get that time back. Leaving my little sister, um, Layla, leaving my little brother, Levi, I'm leaving my twin sister, and my mum and dad, miss my dad's big 60th birthday, just gone. Missing my son's birthday, just gone. So it's, for me, it's, you have to make sacrifices in life to get ahead. And that's the driving factor. I feel like a 40 year old man, but I'm only 27. Got, got a wife, got a son, got a daughter on the way. You know, I feel like I'm extremely blessed. It's a dream. He's a stepping stone. Unfortunately for him, he was the one chosen for me to demonstrate my skills on. I knew the time was gonna come when I get to step up and let the world see me. And it just so happens to be Conor Ben that I'm, going, that I'm fighting against. If he beats me, he, which he won't, he gets to show if he really has that dog in him because I don't think he has as much dog as I do because I'm, I'm a fucking dog. <laughs> I feel very different in comparison to Orlando. Um, believe it or not, in the changing room, it hit me and I had to lay down for, I fell asleep for 20 minutes um, while my gloves were on, ready to go just before the fire. I had fallen asleep for 20 minutes. Even though I felt shattered, mentally exhausted, um, and needed to sleep while my gloves were done up, I was ready to go in, the ring walk was ready. I feel very different about this fight. The week was exhausting. It, when I meant it was more of a mental fight for me, it was, a, it was a mental battle for me. It was me dealing with what's up here rather than a physical object or a physical man in front of me. It was, it was purely mental. Every boxer is nervous when they go in the ring, so, and that actually makes you a better fighter. That's why some fighters perform in the gym and can't perform fight night because they don't know how to use those nerves that you don't have in the gym. Me. I love the nerves. That means that I'm ready. I'm ready to beat your ass. I wouldn't be surprised if this fight doesn't go past one round. I know you say maybe you've softened up because you, you've got a door on the way, but um, I'm coming in there to take his head off in the first round. Your dad won in one round, so 
No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> the bet's on, Dad. My thing is why he didn't say that prediction when we were facing off. If he believes that, I hope he comes out with that, with that frame of mind. Get me out of there in the first round. His ass gonna be touching the canvas early. He's in the way of everything I got coming my way. He's in the way of what's mine. He's in the way of everything I worked hard for. He's in the way of, of me being the, the best, best fire I can be. He's in the way of a lot of things. That's why I'm gonna make an example of him and that's why I'm gonna close the show in devastating fashion. I'm not coming in there to play games. I'm not coming in there to talk. I'm coming in there to, to take his head clean off his shoulders. No offense, like people from England, you guys talk really proper and nice, so like you really can't trash talk. It doesn't sound doesn't sound like trash talk. It sounds like he's being nice. He's digging his own grave. The more he talks, the more I want to get him out of there. He's been boxing long enough to know that he's wild and he doesn't have any skill. No, he'll find out about wild. I can tell you that now. It'd be like a jungle in there. He's getting fucked up, period. I dominate. If it goes to decision, I win every round. I just want to beat the shit out of him. I'm getting wound up just sitting, sitting in and out thinking about him. He, he's getting dealt with. He's getting absolutely smashed to pieces. And when I see him, when I see him come fighting and I'm standing across there, he won't know what hit him. You know, feel like he's been hit by a baseball bat. He's gonna need to bring them guns in the ring to keep me off him. And even then, I still fancy my chances. Same prescription, different patient. Same thing I see in the ring with anybody. He, Conor Ben is no one special. He's just another opponent that I'm gonna beat up. I see a victory. Victory, I don't train for anything but victory. The talk is done, I can assure you now. I'm coming in and take your head off. I, can, I promise you that. Like, I, pr I promise you that. I'll make you cry in there. I promise you.